So I just got to the airport. I'm inside now. I'm all checked in. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. I still have about three hours before my flight. So I'm gonna see what I can do. I've been wanting jama juice from Korea for a long time now and I'm finally gonna get one. So I went with one of my smoothies that was my favorite back at home. It's the Orange Sea Booster. It used to be known as the Co Buster and I used to drink this one all the time. I used to get it with fresh orange juice but I didn't want to ask so I got it with regular, regular orange juice but let's see the difference. That's pretty good. Because I didn't ask for fresh orange juice, I think the orange juice they use is better than the one we use back at home. Because it tastes good without switching it. I like it. This one is the medium size. It was about nine thousand hmm? it was about five thousand nine hundred one. So almost six dollars. Bit pricey, but it's good. I had a really great time. I wish I had longer. The first day and last day were only about like half days because it was the day I arrived and the day I left. So I couldn't really do too much those days but the first night we at least got to go out and eat. The last night I just kind of slept in a little bit until I had to go and catch my flight. But it was so much fun. It still kind of didn't hit me that I was even in Korea. It kind of just feels more like a dream. I guess because I've been wanting to go there for so long but at the same time there's a lot of similarities with Japan so it kind of just felt like I was in Japan but with Korean words everywhere people speaking Korean instead of Japanese so it was really it was a really interesting experience and I have learned Korean before but I couldn't use any of it because I just kind of froze up and couldn't speak because I didn't know enough and I just kind of didn't want to bother but most of them do end up speaking to you in English anyway if you look if you look foreign enough they'll just speak to you in English they won't even speak to you in Korean which is helpful but sometimes it would have been nice to use my Korean but like I said, a lot of times I just gave up and ended up using English anyway because whenever I did want to try and use Korean, a lot of times Japanese wanted to come out because I've been in Japan for a while now and I use Japanese all the time even with like my Korean friends or like Chinese friends or anything, I always spoke Japanese so anytime I see an Asian now, Japanese just kind of wants to come out so that was another reason why I kind of just ended up shutting my mouth and just not speaking or ended up speaking in English because in my mind I was getting all confused. I know it's probably kind of weird, but I don't know. I, felt, I found it really hard to not speak Japanese to them. Anyway, you know, it was a really great experience. I do want to go back. By the time you see this video, it'll probably be a few weeks after, but... I'm going to do my best to edit them as quick as possible and get them out as quick as I can. But I did take a lot of videos and, and there's a lot of stuff to go through. So we'll see how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching all the videos on my trip and everything. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!